Hello Summoners and welcome back to our series from A to Z. I am Luna and today we'll be taking a look at Azir, the Emperor of the Sand. So let's hop right into it. As for the history, Azir was released on September 16, 2014. His kit was an odd one, considering he was a mid-range mage who controlled his summons, let alone there were a ton of bugs that had to be fixed. Azir constantly felt the need by Riot developers to get adjusted, but that didn't change the fact that he was one of a kind champion. He could do it all, summon soldiers and control them, summon turrets, move with mobility second to none. He was a champion that could do it all. A champion truly worthy of the Emperor title. Whatever you expected out of a champion, Azir could do it with style and fineness. And since his release, he was a stable pick in the pro scene all over the world. His massive arsenal made him unstoppable in pro play, even if he suffered a lot in solo queue, and here are some of the most iconic moments in Azir's pro play history. We got Mr. 200 Years on the opposite side. Gumi Yusi trying to make Vista. it go, but Vista gets it going. And Faker is trying to 1v4 now, and he will be able to. He's creating the front line for Gumi Yusi. Going down before. Bottom being pressured right now, and SKT 1 for a oh. play. The Empress divides there. The hookshot wall shot rookie flashes away immediately. Gets taken down, and SKT redeeming back. On top of the shy girl, Pop Blossom coming down. He flashes. Takes one down, hits Faker, gets him to half health as well. But hey, well, Weaver's Wall goes to the other side. That's the face call onto the Nautilus himself. But it's an eco, they get the shine. Abilities Azir's a mid lane mage who summons and controls an army of sand soldiers. The soldiers are an extension of their emperor's will, literally attacking for Azir and controlling areas of the map with their lethal spears. Azir has two passives. The first, Will of the Emperor grants Azir bonus attack speed based on his cooldown reduction. This goes for cooldown reduction granted by items as well as runes, masteries and buffs. Azir's second passive, actually an active, is Disk of the Sun, which builds a Shuriman Sun Disk at the base of a destroyed turret. The Sun Disk targets enemies just like other turrets and lasts for a minute before returning to sand, but it can be brought down faster by enemies, awarding gold when destroyed. The Sun Disk kills and assists wreck up gold and experience for Azir. If Azir strays too far from the Sun Disk, it loses tons of armor and will fall, even to minions quite quickly. Note that Azir can build the Sun Disk on any destroyed turret, except for enemy inhibitor and nexus turrets. Azir's a conqueror, and that means he takes your turrets, literally. Disk of the Sun is great for protecting your team as you push into enemy territory. Let's start with Azir's W. Arise, because it's the only ability he can actually learn at level 1 and crucial to the rest of his kit. Arise summons the untargetable memory of a Shuriman soldier that grants vision and waits for commands. If a sent soldier is in range to attack an enemy, Azir's auto attack will order his soldiers to attack instead. There is no need to get your hands dirty. You are the Emperor. Arise operates on a nano system that maxes out at two charges. While there is no hard limit on the number of soldiers Azir can have in play, they do time out after a few seconds. If more than one soldier is attacking the same target, the damage of extra soldiers is significantly reduced. Sent soldiers benefit from Azir's attack speed bonuses, and their damage scales with his ability power. Note that soldiers' attacks pierce through their initial target 
extending their attack range beyond the circle you see. Soldiers' attacks make up Azir's primary source of magic damage and apply on spell hit effects. Meaning they'll pop spell shields, apply Rayleigh's, Leandre's and spell vamp, but not red buff, Nashor's tooth or Lich Bane. Using soldiers extends Azir's basic attack range, but only up to a point. When he moves a certain distance away, the soldier becomes inactive, and if Azir moves much further, it disappears altogether. Sand soldiers are afraid of enemy turrets. They refuse to attack them and disappear much faster when one's around. Bunch of wimps. However, Azir can cast Arise directly on an enemy turret to immediately deal damage instead of spawning a cowardly soldier. In lane, soldier attacks are Azir's primary tool for farming up large groups of minions and harassing lane opponents. Now that Azir's remembered some soldiers, it's time to learn about his Q, Conquering Sands. When Azir casts Conquering Sense, every soldier charges to the target location, no matter how far they are from the Emperor. When charging, soldiers slow and damage each target they pass through. If multiple soldiers hit the same target, the slow stacks but each strike after the first deals reduced damage. Use Conquering Sense to slow your opponent allowing your soldiers to squeeze in an extra step or two. Azir's E, Shifting Sense, is how the Emperor gets in or out of trouble. On cast, Azir dashes to a target soldier, damaging and knocking out enemies along the way. If Azir collides with an enemy champion, he also gains a temporary shield and stops in place. Remember, that Azir can dash to any active soldier, even if they are on the other side of a wall. Additionally, Azir can cast spells mid-dash to reposition his soldiers without affecting his destination. Shifting Sense is especially useful for escaping ganks and dodging dangerous enemy spells. Azir's ultimate, Emperor's Divide, summons a wall of shield-bearing soldiers the charge in a target direction, damaging and knocking back enemies. These soldiers don't take orders, but they do stick around, blocking enemy movement while allowing allies to pass through, and providing a nifty movement speed boost in the process. Even if an enemy tries to dash through or jump over the wall, the soldiers still knock him back. Get bopped! Some exceptions apply. Flash and flesh-like abilities allow you to pass the wall unbopped. And the unstoppable force of some abilities can still pass through an Emperor's Divide. Azir and his allies can pass through the wall multiple times to refresh the speed boost. Use Emperor's Divide in team fights to split the enemy team and protect your backline. Mastering Azir means mastering his Sand Soldiers. These essential tactics will help your army win control of the Rift. In lane, CS and zone out your enemy by keeping a soldier behind the backline of caster minions. When your opponent comes in to last hit, attack them then slow them with Q to get a few more hits in. It's definitely the rudest way to deny minion gold from your opponent. In duels, keep your distance. Placing sand soldiers ahead of Azir and leading your opponent through them. Move and attack, move and attack. Your soldiers will do the dirty work while you kite around for safety. If your opponent gets in close, use Q to slow him down and get the troops together for DPS. 
This will either turn the fight around or ensure you don't go down without dealing some serious damage. In situations where you are feeling gutsy or maybe just have backup from your allies, create a sand soldier and send it behind your enemy with Q. Approaching at a slight angle, E to your soldier and alt back in the direction you came from. Splitting up the enemy team or picking off and out of position enemy champion. Keep in mind, this is a very risky play, so choose your moment carefully. Even when you have the upper hand, keep in mind that shifting sense is your only way in or out of a fight, so take care not to go on a fence without checking your surroundings first. Matchups. Azir is strong against Lucian, Lissandra, Yasuo, Irelia, and Mlazahar. And he is weak against Nico, Tristana, Lux, Zix, and Cassiopeia. And with that being said, I wish you all good luck in the future playing Azir. Be sure to tune in for more upcoming videos and champions. Luna out.